Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. The focus of this video is Google Sheets, a free online spreadsheet software offered by Google. For this video, we'll be sharing some tips and tricks that could really help you. Surprise! Can you believe that Google Sheets also has its own template gallery? Before clicking on a blank document by instinct, you can try browsing through Google Sheets' various templates, such as for attendance, grade book, to-do list, and many more. So, if you ever need a specific format to use for your Google Sheets, make sure to check the template gallery first. Who knows, perhaps you'll find the perfect one, which can save you a lot of time. Similar to Google Docs and Google Slides, Google Sheets also has a feature which allows you to edit offline without an internet connection. Therefore, you won't have to worry about a bad internet connection, which can restrict you from editing, and overall just wastes your time. To enable this feature, go to File and click Make Available Offline, and then click Turn It On. By only doing it once, it will automatically do it for all your other Google Sheets files. When you freeze columns or rows in Google Sheets, it locks them in place so you don't have to scroll all the way up to view a specific cell. This feature is really useful and efficient when you have a spreadsheet with a lot of data that needs to be compared. To do so, select a cell in the column or row you want to freeze, and then click View and Freeze. In the Freeze menu, you can click up to Current Column and up to Current Row to freeze the selected cell. You can also freeze one or two columns and rows by selecting the one you prefer. A thick gray line will appear next to the frozen cells to differentiate them from unfrozen cells. Remember, there's a difference between rows and columns. Therefore, freezing a column will make a thick vertical border appear, while freezing a row will make a thick horizontal border appear. If you want to remove these lines and stop freezing cells, you can go to View and select Frozen, then click No Rows and No Columns. Have you ever wanted to color every other row in your Google Sheets to make them more organized but don't really know how? Don't worry, there's a really simple way to do so that will only take less than 4 seconds. First, go to Format and select Alternating Colors. You can choose from the default styles or customize the colors of the headers, footers, and columns to your own choice. Once you're done, you can click Done and voila! Your spreadsheets now have alternating row colors. If you feel that your spreadsheets look quite boring, you can actually customize them through themes. Note that there are differences between themes and templates, so make sure to not get them mixed up. To apply a theme, select Format and click Theme. If you scroll here, you can see that Google Sheets offer a variety of preset themes to choose from. You can either use these by simply clicking on your preferred theme, or you can actually customize them yourself. To do so, select Customize in the top right, and here, you can pick your own font and colors! Thank you all for staying until the very end of this video. We hope that by watching our video, you're all able to learn some new tips and tricks on Google Sheets. Stay tuned for new tutorial videos every week. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload. See you next time!